Do you want to start the pot off or you want me to start it? You got it, bro. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 41. God damn. And you know, it's your host, DWAK Darius. I'm back with my brother. You want to introduce yourself? Yo, it's Slim JR. Was good? You say Slim or Sun JR? I think it's Slim. It's Slim Reaper. You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's get it out the way as we usually do. Fuck Fritz. Fuck UJ. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Yeah, let's make a Discord faction of that, bro. <laughs> The Discord low key jumping though. For real? Yeah, decent. It's like twenty four people, but it's a lot of. They've been talking in it recently. I thought it was gonna be way less by now. No, that's good though. That's decent. But if you haven't already, follow us on all platforms. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. I think we're at one hundred and fifty five thousand. You know, we're going up day by day. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars Podcast. Follow us on all podcasting platforms at No Regulars Podcast. Follow. Oh, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. All that good stuff. Like, comment, send to a friend. And uh, merchandise coming soon, hopefully at the end of the month. Uh, Yeah, we're in the works. I cannot wait for that shit, bro. Don't worry. I cannot wait, bro. I think a lot of niggas was waiting because I got the the designs coming soon. But actually, I got the design, but Jay's cousin's helping me, like, finish it out and shit. And then I have some manufacturers i'm gonna talk to and then i gotta i made a website but i gotta like buy the name first mm. so i gotta make llc's I gotta buy the name for that yeah i have no clue that shit works it's like you pay like a month like a dollar oh okay so just so cool. nobody takes your name okay so it's like your oh, copyright now. yeah shit right. like that so i gotta buy that i gotta get maybe i'll probably make an llc so i could like expand more on this shit that's dope you know what i'm saying i think did i tell you what i'm coming out with Mm-mm. i think it's shirts Shorts and some trucker hats. That's so tough. Yeah, but the that's shorts so might be coming later in the summer because I gotta find a manufacturer that's a little closer. Because I found some shorts in uh, what's it called? It was in Atlanta. Ooh. It's pretty nice, but eh, the shorts is like nine dollars. That's not bad at all. What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? It's You're talking about it's expensive shorts. Like bro, I got a fucking pack on shorts are like fucking thirty dollars, bro. Yeah, but like it's gonna. Well, I'll tell you at the end. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you at the end. I'll tell okay. you at the end. <laughs> but um. Am I missing anything else? Oh, yeah, join the Discord. You know what I'm saying? Join the Discord. You know, we be talking to Discord. We can play games and shit like that. You can argue with Jason because I think we're going to have some topics you guys I've might I've been waiting talking. for that, bro. They was oh, arguing man. with UJ the other day <laughs> about him and Tom was arguing with people about if J. Cole is top five right now. Hell no. <laughs> garbage bin ass. It's terrible. Hey, he, he hooping, though. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. i seen him hooping. I don't even know where he's at. They said he was doing side quests. <laughs> hey, bro, he really just living his dream out because he got the opportunity, bro. True, that's true. But hey, bro, how's life going, bro? You want me to answer honestly? Nah, <laughs> it's good. It's great. Like you know, I'm just talking about with the gas prices. Oh, bro, that shit is crazy. First of all, first of all, first of all, this is just me problem. For whatever fucking reason, bro, I go to this one gas station whenever I need to because it's literally the only one on the way to school. My car gets declined every fucking time. Your card? Me, yes. It's just that one. I don't know what it is. That card gets accepted for food, buying stuff online, anything, right? When I go to that gas station, won't fucking work. Anyway, so I have to use my credit card, and it's still like fucking $70 to fill up my thing. 70 Yes. That's crazy. Mine's like 50 No. Dang. And what is it? How much is it by your crib? Uh, I think it's like... um. I want to say five eighty nine. Five eighty nine. It's either forty nine, five eighty nine. I did not look this morning. What the? But it's one of those hell? two. I know it was like five something. Um, when like the grass first uh first started going up. Yo, cause it's like, <clears throat> it's like about to be five over here. Mm. It's like four eighty something. Like before at Jay's crib, like in Jersey City, it was like at like four dollars. Mm. And then all of a sudden it went to like four sixty. Like now it's at like four ninety four ninety nine. Um, did you see that video on, <clears throat> on Instagram? It was a while back when, like, it first, first started going up, like, the diesel truck drivers. Yeah. Dude had $1,000. Yo, imagine. It was why. I feel like the company has to pay for that. Oh, has to. There's yeah. no way. A thousand. He said it was coming out of his pocket, but like, there's, like, no way. He's gelling. There's yeah. no way in hell, bro. Like, just imagine. But, like, like, how high does the gas price have to be for you to, like, really change your life around? Like, how, like, what's the price, do you think? If I saw my tank go to $100, bro... I'm not driving anywhere besides where like work <laughs> and school. Is. Like to fill it up a hundred dollars. Yes. So that's really. probably like about like but six, it's, seven, it's max. six, seven a gallon. But it's max. Cause I have to fill up my car every, um, like, I don't know, let's say twice or once a week. Yeah. That's a hundred dollars every week. Like, bro, I know. Crazy? Bruh. That's a damn bill. People in Russia got to chill out, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like they got to chill out. Just give us some gas. We got to find gas somewhere. Just oh. find some oil in the, we can't even go to a freaking, we can't even go to Iraq, bro. It's mm-hmm. deep. I seen I seen hella videos on Twitter. <laughs> I seen a video on Twitter of like a soldier. He had like the little machine gun and he was just shooting it randomly. That guy just got he got like sniped afterwards. <laughs> like murked. And then there was like a whole th- bro <laughs> There was like a whole thread of videos of like 
army soldiers because like you know they're not like trained like us yeah so they're basically just like like imagine us we with guns yeah. so they playing around and shit niggas like on like they playing around shooting the gun some guy got shot in the leg by accident <laughs> and then uh there was a guy that he was like uh, recording outside the window and he was just like um what's it called he was recording like the, the the car behind him and the shit exploded like it hit a trip mine and you just see him like he's smiling on facebook and the shit said boom <laughs> It's a, it's a crazy world we live in, people, nah, bro. Stay real, inside, bro. bro. Stay inside. Niggas begin. <laughs> ah, free y'all niggas, bro. Terrible stuff. But I got a question, bro. I was Me and Jay was watching a movie the other day, probably like a week ago. It was a really good movie. You should watch it. It's called The Dangerous Game On. You have Amazon Prime? I do not. Well, my mom does, so technically, yeah. Yeah. You should watch. It's free, too. So, so it's like a... All right, I'll tell you about the movie like after I ask you a question. So... It's a game of manhunt, right? Mm-hmm. So this is a good question to ask you because, you know, you got a little experience with military training and shit. So it's a game of manhunt for your life. So there's five people that's going to be chasing after you, right? But you have a month to train and you can't leave the city of Newark. So you get to you get a month to like train throughout Newark. So like if you leave Newark, then the game continues and like they could kill you forever long it is. But the game lasts 24 hours. But every hour you survive, you get a million dollars. So at the end you'll get twenty four million dollars, but say you die in like hour six, you get six million dollars goes to your family. Mm-hmm. Would you play? Hell yes. Now, hear me <laughs> out. The only reason that the only reason I'm saying I wouldn't play maybe, and it's like a two percent chance I don't, is because it's in fucking Newark. The, damn right there's gonna be five people hunting I me. Mean, the entire city of Newark's gonna be on my ass because <laughs> I'm cute and light skinned. <laughs> beat me up. But oh, and also every hour they give you a phone, so like it gives off your location. For how long? For like fifteen seconds. That's not bad at all. You really you think you survive? If it if it genuinely is only five people, yes. Do I get to defend myself? Uh, yeah, yeah but you don't have no money, no weapons, and they can't shoot you. Oh, what the fuck? It's easy. Oh, and you don't know who the five people are, by the way. It's oh. random people. Oh, that's kind of nuts. They know what I look like, obviously. You said what? They know what I look like. Yeah, they know. They know everything about you. I think camouflaging could work. It could. I could, but alter, like, you, I could alter my face, wear sunglasses, a face mask. You know, COVID. You could, but it's like continuously running like like that movie was nuts like the whole plot behind it was od like it was like so he was like a um like a track runner so he was literally he was on the verge of dying and like his family was in debt so he was like you know what if i die they get they're out of debt and they're okay but like i'm dying anyway so he's like i might as well do it but so like he's running and he, the guy that was um in charge of the whole thing he said like crowds is your best friend because like if yeah, they no, can't they, so you can't they can't kill you in a broad daylight I mean, they could, but they won't get away with it. Exactly, they're going to jail. Um, You think you survive? I'm thinking I'm I'm dying, bro. How? Bro, just imagine being chased. Think think about how big a city actually is, right? Versus where they they have cars. Do we have cars? No, because we're broke, right? Yeah, but I mean, they can catch the bus. I can can make a friend. Yeah, you can. I'm good, But like, you have to remember, like, you can't leave Newark. Yeah. So you have to, that's really where the 30 days comes in. Like, you just got to know the boundaries of Newark. Well, I make a plea bargain, right? I find somebody that looks trustworthy, right? I go. I will give you a million dollars after this if you just take me where I need to be. Think about it. That go. guy could be the person that's gonna kill you. You don't know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, he could just set you up at the end. That is true. Like the people that was chasing after him was just like normal guys. Like one one of them was like a, a psychi- psychiatrist or a psychologist, like a major, and like he like guessed everything he did just based on like human behavior. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That shit was crazy, bro. I think I could do it, right? Because not only do I have military experience, which is much. The big part is I read manga and watch anime. Those motherfuckers are genius, bro. I, that one month, half of it's going to be actually, you know, physically enduring and training like that. And then it's going to be reading manga. Those motherfuckers are geniuses. They could outplay anything. They could, it but then it's a story written. It's a written story. Okay, <laughs> but it would work. Is, I'm telling you. I could, I could, I could bring something. You think up. so? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, genuinely, no bullshit. You think you would survive 24 million? Uh, you would 24 survive 24 hours? hours? Yeah. Just imagine at nighttime. It's deed at night. Um... Like, during the day, you might be all right. You cool with it. You said every hour it goes off the location? Yeah. So you can't just stay in one spot. They're going to find you. And, like, these niggas is literally, like, tr- hunting you down like an animal. <laughs> yeah, but they're not going to know where I am except for that 15 seconds. And you, if I'm across the city? Bro, this dude literally guessed everything. He was like, he was like, bro, I knew you was coming to the church because you all alone and scared. And, like, you know, like... This might be your last day, so you might as well come to the church. And he followed them there, like, exactly. Like, he, like, it was 
the niggas is I'm crazy. not going to church. Where are you going to go? Like, what? Let me let me know your tactics. What do you think you're going to do? Yeah, well, that's the problem, right? You have to think illogically. Because you got guys like that, right? They're smart yeah. as fuck. They're manhunting you. Think illogically. Just do what you want when you want it. Not fucking think about a strategy or plan, right. honestly. All right, say that, but right, let me tell you. So what if, so it's you and the guy that starts the, the game with you, right? Mm-hmm. You're in a coffee shop. And he says, all right, the game starts now. It's like 5, 5 a.m. Because that's mm-hmm. when sun rises to sun, sun rises at 5 a.m. Uh-huh. He said, the people that's about to kill you is in this room right now. You got to run. That's a little hard. I'm that's what I'm saying. Like, get away from five people off the jump is fucking It's not nuts. like they're going to kill you right then and there. But yeah. it's like, you can't tell who's yeah. in the thing. And, like, anybody could, be like, want to kill you and shit. Yeah, but you could scan the room and be like, all right, all these faces done up if I see any of them. I don't care if they're innocent. Nothing like that. You never know, bro. I can't. Just imagine being chased and you don't even know who the people are. She was, cr- bro, that movie, that was a good movie. I kind of want to watch it. That sounds really interesting. But yeah. all genuine jokes aside, I think I can. <sighs> I want to tell you, like, the, the plot twist. The, the plot twist is crazy. But I don't want to ruin the movie for you, so I got you, my brother. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I think so. <laughs> you got anything you want to talk about or you want me to go to the next topic? Because I got a good um, question. I can just think of something off the brain. So let's talk about, uh, uh, I'm a nerd. So games, right? Yeah. Uh, th- there isn't shit. Th- no, there isn't no, shit no. for games, period. Like, I mean, it's, I think this is like the down period of it's games. It's fucking terrible right now. It's felt like it's been like a year since anything new, fresh, and exciting came out. Maybe Elden Ring, but you know, it's not your style yeah. game. But like, it's, it's fucking just dog shit, bro. Like, you still play Elden Ring? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes, right? I've already played through it a bunch of fucking times. So I gotta give it a break and then do it again. Yeah. In a couple months, shit like that. But like... I think that gaming's fucking mid right now. Terrible. I know. Absolutely terrible. I mean, they're trying. I feel like they're trying to. I, I've I heard a uh, Rick and Morty, like the creator Rick and Morty, made a video game. Uh, no, they did, and it was um displayed during the Xbox. Um, it's only for the, Xbox. No, I don't think so. But I think it was displayed during like the Xbox when they were like say they're gonna release games this year. Yeah. And everybody was bashing it. Said it was mid. It looked kind of weird. Like, it looked like they got, like, the guns could talk to you type yeah, shit. No, I'm it like... Didn't, it didn't look that good. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, they have nothing right now. I mean, I feel, I feel like this is always, like, there's always a down period in, like, gaming when there's not really a lot of shit. Especially, like, it's usually during the summertime because, like, a lot of people don't want to be inside playing games yeah. in the summertime. They want to be outside. So, like, they probably have all the good games set for the wintertime. Yeah, it's either that or I'm getting older. Because I feel like when I was younger growing up, there was never a single downtime. That's for true. That's it true. As fuck Maybe it is because we're getting older. It older. You never know, bro. Yeah. Like, a lot of things you look at, like, you ever be watching TV shows and be like, damn, this shit, not, this shit don't hit like it used to. Yes. Like, this shit yes, is so bro. bad, bro. Actually, fucking, uh, so me, Ja'Kai, and Abner, we're watching the Star Wars series again. I've seen, you know, obviously seen a little yeah. bits of it when I was a kid. The was like, this real is version? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, oh, man, this is sick, right? As a kid, dude, we were watching. The acting's fucking terrible. Yo! The CGI's awful. Everything about the movie just wasn't it. And Bro. all you Star Wars fans, you guys are fucking virgins if you don't believe me. <laughs> and you don't agree. I don't care if it's a classic. It, it's terribly mid. Yo, hike. I understand, bro. Me and Jay went to go watch the Jurassic Park movie. Mm-hmm. And, like, so it's supposed to be, like, the ending of all the whole series yeah. and it's like they brought in the old Jurassic Park and the new one and it's like I'm looking it's a good movie but I'm looking I'm like yo this is cringe no like, yeah, it's bro. cringe yes. like it's not like like they trying to merge it together like have like a nostalgia thing like uh, Spider-Man but this shit is too cringy nah, like I'm just thinking about like but I told Jay this. I was like, I'm watching the movie. Like, you know how everything's CGI? Yeah. So I'm thinking about, yo, these actors are just looking at nothing right yes. now. And I'm like, yo, this shit is That's cringe. That's why I think Marvel's actually nuts. Because, you know, they were talking to Thanos. They had to look up like this. It's some dude in a fucking, in a, like a blue suit. Exactly. And like Hulk, the entire time, they're just looking at nothing. Like Looking at nothing. That's good acting. But like, they look, that shit. Oh, like, it looks great. It looks great for them. Yeah. But like, Jurassic Park, it looked like, uh, it looked kind of like cringe awkward yeah no i was saying the same thing with like star wars they obviously have like big fight scenes there's dudes in the back fighting like uh androids which obviously aren't real so they're yeah just, yeah like think about how like awkward that is as an actor in real life you're just that's a- <laughs> just doing nothing just swinging around that's what i'm saying that's why actors get paid a lot of money because no, i can't do that no like they, like you know how in jurassic park movies there's always like a part where like the two big dinosaurs fight each other yeah. so it was that part at the end and it was just like all the all the characters were just standing there watching and i'm just like what are y'all doing? Man, shit, like, man. yo, just run or some shit. Yeah. Like, I was just like, but it was it was not it wasn't that bad. Yeah. I just thought it could have been a little better. Mm. The the plot of it was okay. The CGI's was they put hella dinosaurs in that bit. Like I swear, them motherfuckers <laughs> was getting chased by every known <laughs> carnivore to ever walk the earth. Like I was, I had never seen some shit like that before. But I seen other new movies coming out. Like I, I heard, I haven't heard anything recently. I heard. I, what do you think about the Thor movie coming out? Oh. Uh, um, so I, I just started watching all the Marvel movies because my girl's all into Marvel. Yeah. So we're watching everything in order. 
Oh, we're, oh yeah, really? Yeah, so I really fuck, I, I fuck with Marvel Super Heavy right now. But I saw that trailer and it's like, is that it's like, what's going on, bro? It doesn't seem it's all that. It's not a fucking comedy, bro. This thing is a thunder saying. god, bro. They're like he's the thunder god, bro. They're making it like a. They're trying to make him like Deadpool or something, nah, bro, like like, t- like hella cringy jokes. I feel like, like, bro. I feel like it's gonna be hella corny, bro. It did not. It's gonna be corny as fuck, hundred percent. Bro, I'm not ready for that, bro. Like it looked like isn't there like a, a girl version of Hulk? She Hulk. Oh yeah, not not Hulk. Uh, Thor. In the movie, I remember it was like some girl or something. Some of the Valkyrie? Yeah, no, it was a Valkyrie, and there was like a, another. It might have been. Maybe I'm tripping. But that. I mean, looked, there was a sister, but. Oh yeah, that probably. She's got a death or something. Like oh that. no, no, it's not her. It's not her. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking it was a Valkyrie, but yo, that I seen that I'm like, this shit don't look that good, bro. No. But maybe going in with low expectation might help me out. I just think compared to what they just like the last two releases, which is um, I think it's it was an Endgame. I can't remember the last one. Doctor before. Strange? It was Doctor Strange, yeah. You're going to go from some badass shit like that, multiverse, like crazy, killing everybody and shit to like Thor. that. To fucking Thor. It, sitting here joking it up. I know. Making dad jokes. Yeah, like, bro. UJ going to like that movie. Yeah, yeah. He's going to be laughing like a freaking nerd. <laughs> yeah, he is. And then I heard, uh, what's his name? I heard Deadpool was coming into Marvel now. I did not know that. Like, I think he was with Fox before. Yeah. And now they're making a Marvel movie. And it's going to be like the first, like, rated that's R Marvel be fucking movie. Sick. That's what I'm saying. I'm that's waiting for that lit, one. That's going to be a good movie. Deadpool is the fucking truth, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Bro. But, but what other, what other shit I was talking about? Oh, and I was watching, I finished all the DC AMU movies, bro. I think I, haven't I like, seen, like anything from bro, DC. I think you should watch that shit. That shit's pretty good. Like the car- animated ones, mm. it was pretty good. There's some there's some filler movies like Wonder Woman and like Aquaman that's yeah. kind of ass but like I watched the last movie that shit was fire it was when they um was fighting um Dark Side Dark Side so tough bro that nigga like it was like they fought him but it's like it was in the future so like Constantine like ran away supposedly and it's like they all they lost against Dark Side but they're trying to like figure out a way to beat him again. Because, that sounds like Thanos, bro. Bro, that lie. shit was crazy. Like, that sounds just like And Thanos. it's like that, but like niggas was actually like dying. Mm. Like nigga freaking Shazam got his leg ripped off. Ooh, shit that's kind of lit. Shit was crazy, bro. I like that. Shit was crazy. Like I was, I was, I watched it after I went to, came back from Jay's house and we was, we was watching movies. So I had to go to sleep. But I was like, nah, I got to finish this shit. <laughs> that shit was too fire. But speaking of the Marvel movies and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So say the Predator is coming to kill you, right? Who would like, you rather have, like, you know, the, the Predator from the um, Alien movies? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, if the Predator's coming to kill you, who would you rather have to protect you, Wolverine or Deadpool? I mean, you got to say Wolverine, right? But I that's think... If, that's if he gives a fuck about you. That's, that's what I'm saying. You Neither got two, of them really give a shit about you. You got two period. niggas that don't really care, but you got two niggas that don't die. It's tough. Yeah. Um. I feel like I can persuade Deadpool a little bit. You might be like, able to, you know, bribe him a little bit, but... Because I feel like Wolverine's just always angry. Deadpool's a little happy. Wolverine has better, like, obviously combat experience and stuff, and he probably could take the Predator. But with Deadpool being Deadpool, bro, he would gun him down. Wolverine has to get, like, close to him. Mm-hmm. As to where Deadpool could just fuck him up from wherever, to be honest. Yeah, he, he could do just... do whatever he wants. But... <sighs> but Wolverine could still... I feel like Wolverine and Predator is, like, low-key, like... Wolverine's, like, a better version of, like, the Predator from, like, the movie. No, yeah, 100%. I think Wolverine could absolutely shred Predator. No doubt. But... You take the risk of having to be close to it, most likely. So you rather Deadpool because he got guns? Kind of, yeah. Uh, I think that makes sense. And he's more... Mm, he might... I don't know if he regenerates faster, to be honest. I don't know. Wolverine. I I never knew Wolverine couldn't die till like, last podcast. Yeah. So no, he's absolutely sick. So, like, say he gets cut in half. He just, like, grows back. Honestly, I don't know how that works. Cause this never happened, to be honest. He just gets like stabbed and just comes back. He goes, just gets like stabbed, shot, and shit like that. And then he just never died. Yeah. Did you watch the old like the Logan movies? I have not seen the Logan movie. No. I, I never watched that either. I think it, I heard it was really good. But I did just see a comic about um, Wolverine killing uh, Hulk, mm-hmm. and like Hulk swallows Wolverine, and he endures it for like yeah, days, yeah, and he pops yeah, out yeah. and rips him open. Mm-hmm. I seen that. I seen that. I think Wolverine like killed like Hulk's family or some shit like that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because Hulk killed um. Wolverine's daughter and what? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I like I like watching them comics on YouTube though. I be watching them a lot and on TikTok. That's exactly where I saw it. Mm. But them them the type of niggas that be coming after us, bro. What you mean? Them niggas hate us, bro. Them niggas, after I forgot what we said. We said we said uh, Batman's beating Spider Man. Oh, the Marvel people. Yeah. Um, who said Batman's beating Spider Man? 
I wasn't here for that. No, you wasn't. I, I it was, was not. I would was, not have agreed. <laughs> it was me and Rubens <laughs> against Chris. Because I forgot Spider Man be pulling his punches. Do you know bro. how strong Spider Man is? I forget. He has the ability to instinctively dodge anything that he really wants. I know. Super strength. I forgot. I and he can endure a fuck ton amount of pain and like uh, pressure and shit like that. I know. I literally forgot about that. He's wild. I forgot he'd be pulling his punches, bro. Mm-hmm. He could literally kill anybody he wants, but he's just no, a yeah. nice guy. Yeah. Hey, man. And like, oh, also, you ever watched Young Justice? I have not. No, but I never really watched good. it either. I started watching. It. It's pretty good. It's Everybody like all the sidekicks. Good. Sidekicks. Like a sidekicks of the Justice League. So oh, it's like okay. it's like Aqualad, Robin. Not Robin. It's like Robin, the Dick Grayson Robin, mm. where he turns to Nightwing. Nightwing. Yeah, and then uh, Speed, uh, Flash. I think it's like Kid Flash or something like that. Speedy. And then some girl that's like with the Martian Manhunter or some shit like that. Was it here that I was watching? Um, I don't think it was. I was watching somewhere recently the... Um, with the Teen Titans? Yeah, it was Teen Titans. Yeah, I think, he was here. I think he was getting your hair done. Yeah, and it was Nightwing. Mm-hmm. And they were helping Robin. Yeah. Okay, with like Deathwing... Or not, what's his name? Uh, Death? I'm supposed to be Slade Wilson. What's Slade, Slade, yeah. I don't remember his villain name, but yeah. His name is... No, it's Slade. It's actually fire as fuck. I was <laughs> hella invested in that movie. <laughs> I told you, bro. The DCMU movies... Because it's like... It's cartoons, but it's like... They kill each other. No, that's what I fucking... That's what I like, bro. I'm tired of like cartoons or, shit, or animes, anything. Where like the superhero... Or not superheroes. The main characters always get saved just because they're main characters. That's what I'm take saying. Take anybody's life if they can't handle it. Bro, they're literally just... Like the last movie, niggas was dying. That's Freaking it. Aquaman got cut in half. Green Lantern died. Green Freaking Lantern's Cyborg mid. got Green He's so mid <laughs> Green Lantern's not that bad I don't think he's that bad <sighs> At first I thought he was mid But the power of the ring Isn't too crazy yeah, it's, it's very insane Anything that you you can imagine You could do Yeah But you don't have that ring In your hand You're done Done So do you think he's like The worst You can't No Cyborg's at like mid Nah don't say Cyborg's, Cyborg's mid. So mid Cyborg bro. is not he's mid He's just the guy With weapons bro Bro he can make portals He's One, so mid. He's the second smartest To Batman bro I just think he's mid. Nah, he can, he's not worse than freaking uh, Hawkman. <laughs> Fuck his Hawkman. Exactly. Yo, the nigga that has like the little... You've seen him before. He has like the... Uh, the What's that shit called? It's like his helmet is like a hawk. And he has that little mallet like with the circle. It's like a it's like a ball and like spikes on it. Look no, at I've up, never seen it. Look up Hawkman, bro. Hawkman, Hawkman is man. chips. <laughs> that nigga is ass. No, I think the same thing about Falcon. The one who's uh, Captain America now. Yes. He's Captain, Captain America, America now? Yeah. You didn't see oh, him. from the, the, the TV show? No, he actually is Captain America, period. At the end of Endgame, he gave him the shield and shit. Hey, they made a black Captain America. Yeah, but he's mid, and he's weird. Anthony Mackie just looks strange. <laughs> I've seen Hawk, man. Yeah, he's super mid. That guy's ass. Yeah. That guy, when they was fighting um, Doomsday, he died first. <laughs> he literally got... Well, Doomsday's a little OP, to be honest Bro, with you. he literally... Doomsday just looked at him and just said, Sheet! <laughs> just stabbed him in his neck. Nah. Hawk, man. But, like, in the, yeah, in the last one, it was, like, a bunch of... Like, Darkseid made a bunch of little Doomsday, like, minions. That's nuts. And just, just kill everybody, bro. Were they like Doomsday? Because Doomsday technically can't die. There was half Doomsday, half this other creature. Like, I forgot what they're called. That stuff. Like, and they was just murking everybody. But they were, they, they was able to die. Like, they wasn't as strong as Doomsday, but they was, like, relentless. Like, that nigga, like, just killing everything, bro. It's kind of tough. Like, they caught freaking the Flash. They had that nigga power in the whole planet. Just running on a treadmill. <laughs> That's kind of nuts. Bro, that shit was OD, bro. Alright. Oh, and um, last, last superhero thing. You know, um, the I almost forgot the Black Adam movie's coming out with the Rock in it. I didn't know that. Yeah, they he has a. I think it's coming out in the fall. It doesn't That's look. Tough. T- it looks. It's a DC movie, but it looks like Marvel made it. I would hope so. It All looks, DC movies are kind of just. Mid. Oh, it's mid because like the graphics is so ass. But this is the first one that actually looks pretty decent. I would hope so. Like they have. It's him. They have Hawkman in that one. <laughs> Fucking ass. I don't know why. Hawkman. It's like Black Adam, Hawkman, uh, Cyclone, some nigga that grows like big as fuck. It's like Adam Breaker or some shit like that. So they have really? a hella niggas. They have hella niggas I never heard of, but I had to look it up because it looked pretty decent. But um, all right. So I got a question. I seen this on Twitter the other day. Mm-hmm. The other day. Is there more people or chairs in the world? Like, what do you think? people you i would think that too but like there's a chair for, i think there's low key a chair for every person just think about it, stadiums mm. how many chairs you got nah, in your it's house? gotta be people bro how many chairs you got we in your like crib? seven billion people on the planet but we do have more chairs in the house than people that's yeah. what i'm saying 
But but another thing is like people be born every day. That's what I'm saying. But chairs are made every day. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm mm. I'm going with. I, I, I maybe have to be. I have to say chairs. I think the amount of chairs made per day versus people made per day is probably higher. I don't know. It man. has to be because I mean you're making chairs. It's like you know a lot less complicated than a human being being born. I guess. <sighs> or like they can manufacture more than a human can manufacture people. I you think. think so. I feel like aren't we at like eight billion people now? Something like that. Like we're way more than seven. But I think there we're... might just be nine billion chairs. Nine billion chairs. It could possibly be. But I don't I, know. I, let me think, because there's a lot of. All right, you know what? There's May- planes. There's planes, but there's also places in the world that nobody lives in. Yeah, like Antarctica. Yeah, so like. But there's gotta be chairs there. <laughs> there's no there's, chairs there. there. There might be a base in Antarctica somewhere that we don't know about, and there's that chairs inside like, that base. This shit got like ten chairs. <laughs> there's like ten <laughs> chairs on the continent of Antarctica. That could make the difference. There's chairs underwater, I'm sure. What? Buried from something. Like like planes and shit. Yeah. <sighs> Take into account that chairs don't go extinct. They don't go chairs extinct. Chairs don't they, die. They do break. They do break. That's the only way they die. They break. Mm. I think I'm going I'm to I'm go with chairs. I think you got to go I with chairs. I think I have to that's the safe bet with chairs, to be honest. That's the safe bet because, like, you know, well, they, be, they might be lying to us how many people's on this goddamn world. But. <laughs> All, right. All right. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? Think about it. A duck is low-key vicious. Ducks are very mean, but... Well, I don't. I guess I don't know. I guess my question is like, you know, when it's the size of a horse, would its would its physical strength increase with like its, it's, with yeah. its bite? Yeah, because it got bigger. I don't even know. Well, I guess it could crush at that point. Probably the size. It should be like the same as like a horse. Because it can't like split your arm or anything like that. It, nah. would, like, it would crush it. So, like, you ever watch that meme of like that dude that got bit in the hand by a horse? He was like, Miguel. <laughs> No. Yeah, but why is the YC in this meme? I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, he's like petting, like, the, I guess they're trying to, like, hold the horse down and the horse bites his finger. He's like, me, yeah. Like, he got his hand in his mouth. No, I'm never Am I the that. only person? What the hell? Oh, um, I gotta really think about this one. A hundred horse, but, like, imagine a hundred horse sized ducks just, like, running at you. That's a lot of duck. That's a hundred That's a lot of horses. horses. Hmm. I think I might go with the large duck. Take my bet on one thing. I want to say that, but if it's just horses, I could just like stomp and kick, I guess. But like ducks are ducks are pretty big. Ducks are pretty big. Yeah. Like oh, duck, a duck right. could be like this big. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I might have to go for the duck. That's a big ass. duck. But if it's just like if I just encounter it, bro, like and I'm not prepared, I might get fucked up. Don't ducks have like claws? I don't. I already got like one little talon on the back. I don't know actually. Like, I, I've never heard of that. Like but these animals got possible. some weird ass shit. But honestly, I think you're. I think you could injure the duck easier than you could injure <laughs> the horse. The duck size a hundred times, to be honest. I don't know. I think... T- I threw a rock at a duck once. And like, hear me out. Why? I didn't think I was going to hit it. <laughs> it's a big-ass fucking river, bro. There's no shot that the one rock that I threw was actually going to nail the thing. So I genuinely aimed for it. But I was like, there's no way. Because I'm throwing my full power. When you throw with your full power, you know, it's less aim. I'm not a baseball player or anything like that. So I can't throw that well. How and, old were you? And, uh, probably fourteen. <laughs> and I nailed that fucking thing, and it was done up. Like you killed him? Yeah. You killed an animal? <laughs> yeah. Or you hit it on the side? Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro! I really didn't mean to kill it, but like it, it hit it, bro. Like it really nailed it. So that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know if ducks are that durable. <laughs> but you, <laughs> did I it like bad. did it like squeal? I don't know. It was, re- it was very far away, bro. It was like extremely far away. Like f- like. A good distance away, like you yes. wouldn't think you would hit that shit. It's like we okay, so what we do back in the day. That's when I was with the white boys, yeah. And, uh, with my <laughs> white friends in Bridgewater, and we used to go bridge jumping. So obviously, there's a river that we jump into. Yeah. So I'm up on like the train tracks, like high as hell, and the ducks like all the way down there. So I lobbed one, and it fucking it rocked. Yeah, like it. rocked the duck. Yeah. Oh, poor duck, bro. Hey, you're not the only <laughs> you're not the only person I know that hurt animals. Okay, what's that mean? <laughs> No, because you made it sound intentional. What's that mean? I know. I I heard of a nigga that drowned his cat before. I, I say names. Yeah, hey, I don't want. Hey, do this, I know him? Yes. I would hope not, bro. You do know him. That's serial you, killer shit. <laughs> Mine was an accident. Well, not really. It was halfway an accident. Hey. To intentionally drown a cat, bro. You're sick. A hey, little bro. bit sick. I'm gonna have to find out later. Hey, my animal lovers, we don't harm. We don't harm no animals on this show. We love I all don't. animals. Jason got a lot of a couple pets. I do, I do. I but do just know the way he drowned it was sick. We're gonna talk about it later, bro. Because now I gotta hear about the sociopath, psychopath this, killer, this bro. This is bad. All right, All right, we'll talk about it. Yeah. All right. So 
I've been wanting to ask this question for a while. I think I asked it on one podcast. Okay. But what's something you believe in that people may judge you for it? So I thought about it for a little bit. And I have three. No, yeah, maybe they're hot. Maybe they're not so hot. So the first one I want to say is, let's talk about um, relationships and stuff like that. Um, yeah. My hot take, which a lot of people disagree with, <clears throat> is that, you know, like when people say, oh, I was blackout drunk and I cheated because I was drunk and I was under the influence. I wasn't sober. Right. Bullshit. I don't care when you started drinking. If you get raped, whole different story. Rape is not a joke. Yeah, if you yeah, get raped, yeah. that's a whole different story. But if you have sex with somebody else and use the excuse that you were drunk, it's not happening. I'm not believing it. I don't I think that's a hot take. I think you, a lot of people believe it. You know that. what's going on. Yeah. No, because there's a lot of people that defend themselves. Like, oh, I was drunk. I got taken advantage of bullshit. You knew, unless you actually got taken advantage of. You yeah. Know, you probably gave consent in your own unsober way. You mm-hmm. still know what was going on. You didn't have to do it. She probably, she probably got the drink. Yeah. But I want to, like, let me, I, with that, right, mm-hmm. I also believe that, since we're talking about that, boy best friends for girls. Oh, you're talking to the wrong person. I, you know, it's possible, yes. Okay, okay, what about boy best friends, like, she she finds a new best friend while you guys are dating? Why? Exactly. I don't, I don't if think. If you already had them since yeah, however long. That's fine. That's fine. But, like. What are you looking for? What do you need? Am I not entertaining? Are your friends not entertaining I thought I'm your best friend. That's what I'm, I'm fucking saying, like. I don't get it. Like, what what can't you say to me that you could say to him? Because if you're not I'm, telling me something, you're, you're telling, telling him, him something. Then like you're fucking. Because you know what boys' attentions conniving. are. You, th- th- Absolutely, that's not possible. We're dirt bags. <laughs> no, first of not. all, and you know she doesn't watch the podcast, right? So let's <laughs> so let's talk for a second. I go out with the girl, right? She has one guy best friend that's been friends with her for however long, very long time. So not recent, right? Yeah. But when I had a girl best friend, right? <laughs> So here's the tricky. Here's the tricky part. It was my ex, but it's my ex from high school. I'm 23 years old now. It was when I was 16, right? Was this person's though? still my friend, Bianca. Her name's oh, yeah, Bianca. Yeah. She doesn't watch it. I'm doubt anybody else can see it. If they do, I'm in big trouble. Fuck it. <laughs> it. Let's not put this part. Don't worry. Let's not put this part on YouTube, right? TikTok, yeah, we're good. But like, I had to. Long story short, without me getting myself in trouble, bro, I had to cut her off because it wasn't acceptable. Yeah. But like, I, that's fine. Me, I don't like. I don't, you know, I don't got no freaking girl best friend. I don't do all no, that exactly. shit. No, exactly. It's not that I wanted one. It was just my friend. Yeah, it was I already my friend. Like, what do you want me to do? But I, I cut her off though, cause you know I love this girl. Blah blah blah. Yeah, because some girls be like, Nah, it's okay. He's just a best friend. Like, no, no bro, that's not. Niggas the are case. slimy. He'll Niggas wait. Are, he's waiting. He's, he's literally waiting. They're bad people, bro. <laughs> he's wait. There's Terrible. no such thing unless he, unless he Pride Month. But yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's the only way. Yeah, she, yeah. But, cause I. We niggas, niggas' intention is crazy. Terrible people. We are terrible people. Period. <laughs> I don't is. know about maybe. You, uh, nah, you Not a good me. Guy. No, I, I have no other other kind of people. Stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Other I mean, people. me and Lindsay, my best friend. Well, we're still best friends. But we don't talk that much anymore. Yeah, I had no intentions of doing anything with her, and I've been friends with her for years. Mm. I don't know, bro. But, but um, what the takes you got? My second one. Is about religion, so obviously you know oh, a lot of controversy. I won't say anything <laughs> too disrespectful, but I want everybody to know that if you believe in anything, you are um, believing in comfort. Period. Religion was made for comfort. It isn't a real thing, in my opinion. It's my opinion. It's a hot take. That's why I feel like I get I get judged all the time for it. Oh, like, don't worry. You're going to hell. You don't believe in anything. You're not going nowhere. You have no beliefs. You're not going blah, blah. right. Like no, you're wrong. Yeah, I, well, you gotta change. You gotta. Oh, I think you had, you know, had a cross on. No, 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 no. Uh, and <laughs> I have no disrespect. If you want to believe in what you believe in, sure. Yeah. But like, you have no proof that religion exists. You can't. No prove proof. Me There's that no proof exists. at all, bro. And I believe it was made for comfort, and that's completely okay. Yeah, I think but it's people okay. that like will tell me that I'm going to hell for my tattoos or because I don't believe or the church or like, yeah, I think that's I just... eat pork. Like, bro, you're fucking, you're missing out, period, yeah, bro. I have out. more fun than you because I can do what I want and you can't <laughs> because you think you're going to fucking the pearly gates, brother. I'm sorry. Uh, I think so, too. I think, I think like, high key, all religions is like a cult. No, absolutely. Because, like, they believe in things, they follow a certain rule set, but there's all, there's cults that follow wrong rules, but, like, which, what do you know is wrong from right? Like we, The only reason we know what's wrong and right is because of religion, basically. Somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat. You know what I'm saying? Like, like common sense. Like, you can't do this stuff. But it's like, in the Bible, it's like, I feel like it's just like a whole rule book just to keep people in check. Yeah, bro, the Bible says you can't be gay, but we have a fucking month for it now. Hey, bro. They all going to hell? No. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> I'll see you there. I mean, it's that simple, you know? So I'm saying, you never, like, you don't, we don't know what happens when we die. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. But. Oh, let me let me tell you what I believe. I mm-hmm. think <laughs> this is it's not as com- complex as what you think it is. People, I think I talked about this before. I believe in Bigfoot. 
Bro, you, you what about it, man? You I, have there's nothing. <laughs> Is like, there something out there maybe like that? Not here. I don't think it's on Earth. You don't think so? I don't. But think why do you think all these people like fo- like seeing it? Who's seeing it? Then why is there no proof? Same thing with aliens. People believe in aliens. Aliens do exist. Exactly. So but why can't Bigfoot exist? Because if it's on Earth and it's on the surface of Earth where we've explored like almost everything and people are looking out there every day and we haven't seen it not once in years, I doubt it. We supposedly explored like space somewhat. Yeah, but not far enough. Like I mean, why space is infinite. Yeah, no, it's infinite. But it's like why? Like why can't? We can't, like nobody's like gone into the forest and like looked through the whole scale of the forest. There's um, no way. I mean, I'm sure that people have done a lot. Yeah, and they said they've seen some shit. Okay, I I've seen Mother Teresa in the flesh. I saw the Virgin Mary <laughs> eating Tostino's pizza rolls in my kitchen. You believe me? No, because I have no proof. But like, what if there's there's people that come up with proof? Like what? I don't know. Some people find like footprints. Swabs of hair. It could be manufactured. I would hope. I know some. I, I would hope that's true. It seems cool. I it's feel like cool. half of it is manufactured because like people say it's a joke. Yeah. But I think like, I feel like there's like things that we never explored like, uh, like in the oceans. Like you know, no, me- the ocean is nuts. I actually just saw a video recently that like, uh, I don't remember how it was like extremely deep where sunlight cannot reach under ice waters and there's still living things down there. That's shrimp, what I'm saying, which is nuts. Like I heard, I was watching the other day. I was looking on TikTok the other day. There was a guy that like you know like they track sharks. There's like an app you can like look at the sharks like if you like interested in stuff. I don't know that, but yeah. And it's like all the sharks stay on the coastline, but there's one shark that's like literally in the middle of the ocean, but it's like mad far down under it. So it's like, why is that shark over there? It, it can't survive down there. It's like something ate the shark, and it's like, like in the middle. Like say this is like the coastline. Mm-hmm. All the sharks is right here. The one shark is right there. Mm. So it's like, you know, sharks usually find like follow yeah, like no, patterns. Yeah. So it's like, how is that shark like all the way over there? Yeah, he definitely got ate by something bigger. That's what I'm saying. And then there was like another one. He said there was like another shark that came that it was in the at like five o'clock in the morning. It was on the shoreline, left all the way to the middle of the ocean, took him like an hour. And then it came back in 20 minutes to go from the middle of the ocean to the shoreline. It's like, what nah. the hell is that shit running? Like, nah. the thing's getting chased, bro. And only three other sharks went that far, but they never came back. No, nah, the ocean's absolutely stuff that we don't know about. There's, That's what I'm saying. There's nothing that I we feel like about. the ocean's more scary than space. 100%. Mm. Depends how far in space. Hiking. There, there could be fucking like, the fish in the, oh, in the sky in, the, in space. <laughs> I don't know what's going on up there. I know, but you never know. You don't, like, literally, I don't, like, up, like, on top and on, on top of us and below us, like, the waters is low-key the same thing. We don't know nothing no, don't about know it. Like, if we go up there with no equipment, we freaking suffocate. Yeah, we die. We drown, suffocate up there. And it's like, damn. And it feels like everybody's, like, lying to us, like, what's down well, there? The only reason that people think space is scary is because the ocean is smaller than space. Yeah, that's true. But, but the ocean go that's, that's absolutely nuts. That's, like, what, 70% of the world? Yeah. Hey, bruv. You, got, you say you got one more yeah. shit, right? Yeah, uh, it's not too crazy, but uh, kind of a general statement that, you know how, like, people believe... That you have to have a goal or ambition in life to be yeah. successful or anything. I don't believe that. I don't think so either. I don't think that you need to have a goal or ambition or have something you set out to do and have a master plan and fucking have a girlfriend or whatever it may be that you think is a successful lifestyle. Mm-hmm. No. As long as you have a simple goal like having fun yeah. or, I don't know, being able to do something that you enjoy every day, that's better than having an ambition, having a wife and kids and a successful life. High paying job Yeah But like another thing I feel like that You could like have fun But it's like Having direction Just like I feel like Set you up in this world better Oh no it's better Technically for the general Societal consensus But As a person And a human being I think that you don't Have to have those things Because it causes stress On people I think so It makes it feel like If you don't accomplish This one thing Now you're a fucking failure Mm. And you can't have fun anymore Is that what you're gonna Tell your kid no, <laughs> but it's my belief. I think so. So, like, if your kid was just like, "Hey, Dad, I just want to be chill. I'm just gonna chill." That's like no. some hippie shit. Oh, you said no. <laughs> no, he can't. Not until I mean, he has something that he enjoys that he could actually live with. If you can't live with your uh, enjoyment, yeah. Okay, then that's then, a little better. Because some people just will be like, "Yo, I just want to play video games." But like, you can make money playing video can, games, yeah, so that's fine. But it's like you can have fun, but you gotta be like. You could have fun to a point where, like, if you, you could die if, yeah, you, don't, if you have too much if fun. If you aren't sustaining your own life, 
then yeah, I guess have a little ambition. Yeah. But as long as you're doing what, if you're even working at McDonald's, but you're able to do what you enjoy every day, then that's fuck fine. It. You are a fine human. Yeah, being. that's There's fine. Nothing wrong with you. No lesser than a fucking CEO. That's that's cool. that's that's fine. As long as like you can work at McDonald's, but as long as, if you enjoy yourself, your life is cool. Like you, you're happy with your life. Yeah. Who cares if you're not making six figures? A lot of people saying? are unhappy because they don't have these fucking tangible things that they society deems them to have. Yeah. So that's why I don't think ambitions and goals and all that are that important to someone being happy. I feel you. I feel you. Because I feel like a lot of people like put their ambitions and goals before their happiness. Mm-hmm, absolutely. That's, I think you need like a, a good balance. Yeah. Because like if you um like say somebody want to be a doctor. Yeah. It takes like what 10, 12 years to be a doctor. You just pushing 10, 12 years. That's like. And, like, just imagine 10, 12 years of misery. And you're just putting, like, so stressed. much stuff that you could have possibly done, stress and everything away for fucking what? For a degree and, like, uh, $100,000. For that one goal, bro. You could have been doing so much more, having so much more fun with everything yeah. else. But, like, if you're having fun doing yeah, that, no, but if you, if that's, that's your fine. thing, then fuck it. Yeah, go That ain't it. me. No. 10, 12 years of school, you can get, kiss my me. ass, bro. Mm-mm. I don't know how they do that shit, bro. I can't, bro. Mm-hmm. Hell no. I will not be no doctor. Freaking. Oh. So, would you rather have? Oh wait, would you rather have absolute knowledge about life after death, or other worlds with intelligent life? Like, what would you want to know more of? I th- other worlds with intelligent life, I think. You think so? What do I do with the knowledge after death? You can tell people. Yeah, that's-, <laughs> that's it. Instead of knowing these people's. Um, their AI, their technology, the way they live, mm-hmm. and just having more resource of anything in the world rather than I know that heaven or hell exists. I don't care. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, I, you could I, live, you could possibly live longer with their knowledge. Yeah, that is true. Like knowing what they do and shit. Yeah. Mm. Not that it would work on humans, but I'm sure somehow through development. I mean, it might. You never know. Yeah. But like, I feel like the with the death thing, I think it's just like a. Like solving a a burning like, a burning like curiosity that the world has just been knowing like wanting to know like what happens when mm-hmm. we die like, when we leave this earth like what literally happens like it could be good it could be terrible, like but I think people just want to know what oh, yeah, that they is. Absolutely do, but uh, do I think it's that important? No. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, what if it's bad? Uh, we have no choice. Exactly. I'll be. I'd rather not know. Exactly. If I, if I know that I'm going to torture myself up until I die, <laughs> which I don't care enough to. Hey, bro. But let me let me go into the topics I was going to talk about before. So I don't know if I don't think you've been into this part of the show yet. It's talking about because I'd be doing this thing on TikTok now. It's like urban legends from each state of America. Mm, no, I haven't heard this. So one. a lot of people been like like a lot of people been asking me to do their states and stuff. Mm. So people, like I said before, comment your state down below and we're going to talk about it. So I got so to this week we're going to talk about California, right? So like, got a bunch of shit, bro. Yo, I bet. there's I one. Bet. I don't even know if you're gonna believe this one, bro. Cause I didn't believe this shit. Uh-huh. But there was like a whole video. So like, there's called Fresno Nightwalkers, right? So back in like 2011, a guy I forgot what his name is. It was like in Fresno, California. Was um he was at home and he like smelled something outside and he seen like a deer carcass like on his like front steps and it was like mangled like in a way like no animal would just leave it there. So like he set up cameras to see like what animal came by and he sees like these little white th- white beings walking on two legs with no arms. And, like, there's a whole video on it. Like, it's on YouTube. And they tried to... It was on a TV show. Like, um... Fake or... Faked or... F- fact or faked or something like that. Mm-hmm. It was on a travel channel. And they tried to recreate it. And there's it's, like, impossible. Like, they tried to, like, have somebody in a suit, like, walk like that. But, like, there was no way that it actually happened. And they found, like, statues in the forest that was, like, 100 years old of, like stick figures of those beings like statues and they're thinking it's like aliens or some shit so i mean there's lots of depictions of night walkers and like you know what a wendigo is yeah there's like weird pale lengthy like Mm -hmm. creatures that just eat like meat period Mm -hmm. i don't know about that one i don't know either. how the fuck did it get on his lawn if they have no goddamn arms i don't know like they they probably i think they have like hands on their feet but it's like they walk like so it looks like this and then just walk like, it looks freaking, it's freaky. Like, it's some creepy Not shit. Not to look at it. But, nah, that sounds fucking wild. I don't know, bro. I don't... Like, I remember I was talking about, like, skin Where walkers would they the survive? Day. Where would they live that people haven't seen them? Or maybe Probably they in the forest. Know. Bro, you know how big the forest is? No, I underestimate the forest. Like, the forest is more. huge. Like, you ever been to a national park? No. Like, people get kidnapped. Like, people get lost there a lot. 
Mm. Not even lost. Like a lot of people, like there's like a whole documentation called like Missing 411 where like they document like people going missing and it's like they go missing in this area and they get found like three, four miles like across like the whole park. Mm. And it's like, what the hell picked them up? And they think like those parks is like, um, it's like, it's not really a Nash. It's not like, you know, they're trying to like preserve the land. They're yeah. really just trying to keep whatever's in contained, there yeah. contained. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, because, like... It's scary as fuck, though. Exactly. Like, I don't know, bro. I always want to go to a national park. Like, fucking, um... What's that shit with the, the geysers? Mm. I forgot mm. that's called. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's, like, in... Is it Wyoming? Yeah, yeah. Wyoming. Yeah. I forgot what it's called. I don't know. <clears throat> but I got another one, too. I got mm. another urban legend from Texas. This one's kind of scary. So, it's, like... It's called, like, the... Black-Eyed Children, right? So... This was back in I forgot what it was. so basically these are these are like ghosts that transform into children that's like ages six to sixteen and they're like pale white white uh kids and they have black eyes and they walk up to people like during Halloween they walk up to like people's doorsteps and like they like oh you know they trick or treat and shit like that but they ask to like come in and like aggressively come in and they sometimes they walk into people's houses and just like the people go missing. Do you think ghosts could take physical form? Shit. Like, possess people? Or, like... I just take physical form. Like, I mean, because this is what it sounds like. Like, there's I think ghosts taking physical form. Maybe a day. demon. Mm. But, like, this incident, right? So, it was a guy. What's his name? His name was um a guy named Brian Bethel, right? So, he was he was in a... It was 1996, and he was in a parking lot in a, for a movie theater. And, like, he's, like... um like, writing checks and stuff. Like, he just stopped for over to, like, write, write some checks out real quick. And then these two kids, like, walk up to his car. Like, it just, like, appeared next to his car. And he's just, like, he got, he gets startled for a second. Yeah. And then he rolls down the window. And he's just, like, he feels, like, mad, like, anxious and, like, scared. And he don't know why. And he's just, like, oh, you kids, like, lost or something? He's, like, he's like nah, can you can you give us a ride back home? We live down the street. And, like, we just need to pick up a money to watch a movie pick up some money to watch a, a movie mm-hmm. he's like well the, the movie you watch is already like playing like i'll give you some money mm-hmm. he's like he's like nah let me get in your car and the guy was like you can't come in my car he, <laughs> like the kid was getting mad and he noticed like they had black eyes mm-hmm. and then when the kid screamed at him he just rolled the window up and dipped out of there and then once he was driving he looked back they was gone bro i don't know if i believe that one you don't believe in ghosts bro uh... oh no did you say you don't believe in ghosts it's not that I don't believe and I don't want to see it if it does exist. I feel dumb to believe that they don't, but I've never seen any proof of it. I've never seen so it. So I have either. no reason to believe that they exist. I feel like I feel like the show. Oh no, no, no. I I don't either. I be think yeah. I be telling you all the time, I think I got ghosts in this crib, bro. Yeah. I be saying that shit all the time. But I don't know. Like the paranormal like TV shows, I think some of that shit is fake. I think some of that shit might be real. I don't know if I've ever seen a real clip. Never ghost. Never ghost. I seen this one clip. It was like it was like there was an abandoned house and it was like a, a lady ran past the shit real quick. And there was like, I think there was like a hotel in um New York or something like that where there's like a room where people just be hearing motherfuckers like get like screaming, like getting murked. And like they'd be seen on the cameras like people walking past like the shit. I don't know. I mean, maybe because like, um, and I don't think my mom has any reason to believe or to lie about anything like this. Do you know, you know Weird NJ? It's basically every urban myth in Jersey. Yeah. So there's one with the, um, uh, what do they call it? They call it like baby powder hill or something. Yeah. If you put baby powder on the hood of your car mm-hmm. and just um, put your car in neutral and let it drive or whatever, apparently, and I shit you not, your car will go backwards up the fucking hill and there will be handprints on your car. Like somebody pushing that shit? Yes. Uh, you could read up all about it. And my mom and stepdad both said it is true. Like they did it or something? Yeah. Where is this? I love you want to try that. I have no. There's plenty of shit in Jersey. There's the the Hell Tunnel, the Devil's Tree. I heard about the Devil's Tree. This um, is, this is like Clinton Road or something like that. Yeah, and then there's the Wishing Well where you throw a coin, uh, coin in and it'll come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I seen that. Some shit like that. I've I, never done any of these, but it's not where we live, people. Just know we live by the yeah. city and shit like that. We <laughs> we not outside but like that. That's the only reason I would believe that ghosts maybe do exist. Because why the fuck would they lie to me? They have no reason to fucking lie to me. And they mm. told me when I was like at the age of twenty something, so like, they're, <laughs> like not they're, not, they're not trying to scare you yeah, type no. shit. That's creepy, bro. I would love to do it though, just to see. Hey, we out. Down. <laughs> down bro. Hey, bro. I just feel like there's a lot of weird shit in this world that no, we absolutely. never experienced before. Like I was, I was talking about ghosts the other time. I feel like ghosts is like trap human. Like, cause I remember I told Fritz like, yo, imagine 
like when we die we're just like trapped in like our bodies like when we die that and sounds like, terrible bro that's sick that sounds fucking awful and the people that are like ghosts they like the people that escape the bodies and they're just like roaming around like lost souls and shit that but, don't sound too bad compared to being stuck underground <laughs> bro hey you never know bro you never know um what the fuck oh not that something shit happened well that's it you got anything else you want to talk about before I got I think I got another question uh no Alright, so would you rather be a billionaire but you have to lose a limb? Or would you rather have no money but you get to pick any superpower you want? I mean, the second one's kind of cheese. That is cheese. Like, get rich off of being a superhero. So. But, like, you're a criminal. Yeah, worse. Like, it's just teleport. Yeah. You take money, be rich, anyways. But also, being a billionaire, losing a fucking arm or leg, getting a prosthetic, or even a robot arm or leg, you're being chilling. That's what I'm saying. But, like, would you want a superpower? Yeah. Superpowers <laughs> are too tough, bro. Hey, bro, which one would you rather have? I knew, I thought, it's always teleportation, I think. That or, like, um, I want to say being able to bend metal, but you can't what really. What the hell? It's tough. Why you? Why would like you Magneto, want that? Like Magneto, bro. He's fucking heat. He's heat. He's all right. Plus, there's iron in blood, so you can technically. You going to blood bend people? Technically can, yes. You can't. I don't think it's going to be as strong as you think it is. If you train enough. No way. <laughs> so, you're going to, that's how you're going to be? Yeah, I might I might be a billionaire, bro. I just you just remind me I could get a robot arm. That's hot. That's fire. It's fucking heat. I just I just lose my left arm. It's, it's nothing. It's whatever. And I have a billion dollars. Yes, I definitely I, I could afford that. Yes, but so you want to be broke and have superpowers? I'm not gonna be broke because I'm gonna be getting money. <laughs> How do you get money somehow? I'm sure I could. Doesn't if if I could bend metal, I'm sure I could walk into a bank and like bend the cameras, bend everything. There's no trace of me. Bend open the safe, get money, walk out. There's no way. Yeah, I could. Why There's not? There's no way, bro. They're going to catch your ass. How are they going to stop me? I could bend metal. They might have they they might have little weapons they don't know about, you don't know about, and just like, they could just stop you and shit. <laughs> Anti-metal bending? Some shit. I don't know. Either way, teleportation. how they stop Magneto? Proof. Did they ever stop that nigga? They just... I don't know. I don't know if any cops could ever stop Magneto. No, I think they... I feel like they put like put him no, in a they, box. they did something where they were firing something else at him that wasn't metal, so you couldn't stop the bullets. That's what I'm saying. Like that thing. I don't know. But teleportation, I mean, what are you going to do? How you gonna find me? All right, then that's cheese. Exactly. <sighs> but that's I do a, think I do think I'd take the millionaire approach or the billionaire approach. It's a lot easier. I can put I could put a superpower on my arm. You can put I could be like cyborg. I could make it into a laser. <laughs> that is true. You can literally do whatever you want with that arm. Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. But I could also be rich and have a superpower, so. You're just gonna be a criminal. No. You're definitely yes. gonna be a criminal. Okay, what if I stole from Mongolian pirates? Mongolian pirates. Yeah, what if I stole from bad people, like Robin Hood, but only for myself. Okay, then. Uh, but like that money you're stealing is not like certified bread. That you know that shit probably not like regular currency money. No, nah, you know what I mean. Illegal. That shit definitely illegal money. So you can't even use that shit. Uh, I don't. I can't find a loophole. Nigga <laughs> trying to cheese me. Yeah. I can find somebody to steal from somebody bad. Hey, bro. You never know. I'm I'm I'll lose a limb. Maybe I'll get a robot leg and just be able to jump. That'd be good stuff. Have that's, moon shoes. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh I got another I got another topic we could talk about, right? Mm-hmm. So we have a good friend group, right? I feel like we have a good balance of like like <laughs> smart people, niggas that is down to do whatever the fuck to as possible and like niggas that could get us out of weird situations. So <laughs> Who's gonna set out any weird situation? <laughs> I love my friends to death, but they're somewhat unreliable. <laughs> hey, bro. So, speak- <laughs> that's fact. That's but all right, so say, say you get kidnapped, right? By, uh, you get kidnapped by somebody, right? Yeah. And you're like, you don't know where you're at, but you get kidnapped with three of our three of the people in our friend group. Who would you want to be kidnapped with to try to get you out that situation? You, Jay Jukai. <laughs> Jakai, why Jakai? He's very smart. I feel like he's gonna fold in the pressure. I believe in Jakai. <laughs> um, and then I want to say probably you because you'd be the most trustworthy. I trust those two to death, love them to death, but you'd be the most trustworthy. Like we actually do something in order to get the plan done, you would do it. Period. <laughs> How do you think we'll get at, like? Say we get trapped in like a like on like a like we have like. Bags over our heads and it's like in like a basement tied in our chairs. You think we can get out? Like there's nobody in the room, but we're just trapped in there. Yeah, eventually. 
I think all right, you know who I'm gonna pick? I'm gonna pick I pick you. I don't know about Chicago. I feel like Chicago gonna fold under pressure. <laughs> no, but Chicago he, would, gets, he would find something. Like, he's so ridiculous that he would find a way out. Are you serious? I think so. Do I was he I don't remember if we, if we went to the because I remember we did a escape, escape room. room. I don't remember <laughs> if he was there with us in that He's one. He's kind of clutch. He's kind of clutch. It was it was me, Chris, Ruvens. No, no, he wasn't with us because I heard I heard he was he was carrying things. I don't even know. I feel like he gonna fold on the pressure like all the, the nigga with the guns is. He might he might freeze <laughs> up, bro. You don't know. No, yeah, he's never been put under pressure like that. So That's what I'm know. saying. Like he but might. I think he could do it. You think so? I think so. All right, let me let me think who else. I'm. Just, I was. I just picked UJ for the confidence because like exactly he's confident. Like Plus he, he's somewhat smart. I'm not gonna say he's fully smart. He's an ape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you UJ. Uh, I feel like, I feel like Chris will find is good to find a way out, but he won't bring us along. He, exactly. <laughs> he would manipulate his way into somehow getting out with the killer or something. <laughs> something. He's not. He doesn't care if I get out. He, he doesn't give a fuck. Maybe he'll remember but ten days when he's out. That's there. what I'm oh, saying. Shit, but like, my boys. but like, maybe I could just like watch him and just like, <laughs> if he tries to sneak off, I just follow him or some shit. Oh my god, let me think. Uh, Bash, Bash is Bash is hood expertise. I'm not taking. Him. He's gonna fold and he's bad. <laughs> he's gonna. He's selfish. He's gonna, he's gonna get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's gonna be walking out perfectly sound, fine plan. Trips on the lawn, breaks his ankle, can't walk anymore. I don't know, and we got to drag him. Ah, oh, fuck. Chi Chi? Chi underrated. I don't know anything about. Like, I honestly, in terms of, that, I don't know anything about Chi Chi. He's smart. <laughs> I don't know anything. I think Chi. I think Chi Chi could like figure stuff out. Tommy was too loud. <laughs> uh, Jordan's gonna fold. Period. Like, I but don't Jordan's care. Da- Jordan will be down to like shoot shit up. No, he's down to do it. But, but he's, really, he's too much of a clown, bro. He's not. <laughs> he's too foolish. I think like, Ish doesn't care about his life, bro. I Ish, 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 Ish is just going to get mad at everybody. Bro. Bro, why we down here, bro? Like, bro, we got to get the fuck up out of here, bro. Uh, that shit going to be bad. Uh, yeah, I think you, UJ. I'll pick Chi-Chi. I think Chi-Chi could get us out. I don't know, bro. Chi-Chi's too much of a clown. I feel like he'd lead me, too. He's a clown. <laughs> like, don't worry. I'm coming back. And then dip. I feel like he's, like, good at, like, like leading the direction a little bit. Mm. But you can't have too many leaders in a group because you don't know who to follow. That is true. Ah, that's why. Like, UJ's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> UJ can give me the most dumb plan ever, but if he's confident, I'm confident. That's just, that's facts. That's facts. Like, just imagine when he's in that situation. There's, there's people going through that right now. Yeah. Like, you, heard of, you ever watched that movie, um... Girl in the Basement. Mm-mm. That's a good movie. I ain't gonna lie. It's a, it's about like a it's a true story. Like in Australia, I guess a, a daughter, she's like her father's like overprotective and shit like that. She's like she's about to graduate high school. She's like yo, I want to do this stuff with my friends, and like she's about to go to college. And her dad's like, nah, she's not doing that. He kidnaps her and traps her in the basement. Like he had this planned out for years, mm. trapped in a basement, soundproof basement, and has her trapped in there for twenty four years, and like he impregnates her. Like rapes her, and she has like four kids, and they're living down in the basement. And those kids think that her father is their dad, which he technically is, but like they don't know like this is incest, and like your mom is like trapped in the basement. They think where the, where they're at is like life, and that's she's fucking sick. That's what I'm saying. It really happened. Like just imagine, bro. That shit might be going on right now. Somebody might make him might be making a movie no, about 100%, that. No, hundred percent. Yeah, there's definitely weird chili. Honestly, I, I'd like to say if I was trapped in a basement by somebody, it's done up for me. Oh, you think it's deed? I don't think there's any way to get out. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pissing, and shitting everywhere. I'm gonna like, be the nastiest <laughs> nigga ever. Eventually, if you don't get out within a certain time span, you will become so brittle and broken and like not capable of doing anything yourself. You cannot get out by yourself. I I know what you mean. Like it's like. Mentally draining type shit. Mentally draining, physically draining. You won't be as strong as you were. You won't be anything. Yeah. And I don't think you'll ever be able to get out. You know, After a certain point, you are fucked. Damn. I hope he, I hope whoever's kidnapped, you don't hear this. Because <laughs> it's not good motivation to get out. If someone's going to watch this and get kidnapped, they're going to be like, fuck. <laughs> Stop. <Stand up." laughs> like, I, I heard a lot of people in, like, Virginia. Like, Virginia, West Virginia. Because, like, there's a lot of rural areas down there. Like, mm. kidnapping is, like, normal. Like oh, and I was I had another I was thinking about another question. Cause I, I was hearing about it the other day. They were like since you're talking about like kidnappings and like crazy niggas. Yeah. Like what person right now? Like if they was in this time period, like uh, either person that's dead in jail, something like that would like thrive like a, a terrible person. 
right now. Yeah, I'm thinking like Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy would be going crazy. Ted Bundy. Especially because, you know, like back in the day, first of all, he was going to states. People would die in those states. They go, no, it wasn't him. Yeah. There was his bite marks on the victims. Mm-hmm. They said, no, it isn't him. He's too handsome. Especially now with people having all these crazy opinions and they could think for themselves. That's Everybody what has I'm their own saying. opinion and they're validated because, you know, we ju- don't judge anybody anymore. He would 100% be Bro, he will, he will go crazy. Bro, mm-hmm. these girls nowadays, bro, they'd be like, I remember I was seeing like a TikTok and it was like, this is where I got it from. He was like, he was like, um, she was like, yeah, I met this guy. He was a little sketchy. He kind of scared me. He was like, you still fuck, right? He was, she was like, yeah. She's like, bro, bro, stop these. Like, bro, Ted Bundy would have a field day. <laughs> he would have a. Yeah, that's facts, though. Like, bro. just imagine Ted Bundy is having a field day on you. How many people he killed? Like, 30? He killed hella people. 30, 40 people. Just, yo, he just handled He was chilling. He was getting out of court every day. Like, not even knowing. He's like, he's too he's too handsome yeah, for that. Like, no, look, just look, look at him. He didn't even look that good. Man. That's what I'm saying. He but it's like, like back in the day, it's like, Ted Bundy would go crazy. Probably like. Ooh, who was, was another bad person? Nobody knows who, where Jack the Ripper went. He was the toughest serial killer of them all. He's my favorite. <laughs> he's your favorite? Yes, he's sick. Do you know like the story behind all that? Uh, I, I think I was talking pieces, about Corey. He's fucking sick. I heard like people think it was like a, a storybook writer. Oh, I, me and Corey found out the other day. It was like the person who wrote Alice in Wonderland was like Jack the Ripper. That's so tough. And like he based like his stuff like throughout the like the the book and stuff. That's so fire. Like just imagine. Jack the Ripper's so fucking cool, bro. He like, really got away with everything. Like how many how many bodies he had? He had that like a lot. Mm-hmm. Well honestly they never know. They'll never know because there's a lot of shit going on back then. They don't know which one was his and which one wasn't. Mmm that's true. Dang bro. Free them people bro. I can never Ted Bunny not killing me. Jeffrey Dahmer not killing me. I'll beat his ass. Jeffrey Dahmer is a freak, bro. I know. Wasn't he? Wasn't he gay he's, too? He's gay. He's I'll, weird. I'll beat his ass. I don't That's care. what I said. There's no way Jeffrey Dahmer's beating me up. <laughs> There's no care, way he could be. I ain't. Nah, I ain't going. John Wayne Gacy might have. Isn't that that big ass dude? He's the fat dude, the clown. Oh, okay, okay. What about that one that was, um, based off the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie? I, I don't even I didn't know that was real Oh no nah, I think that was based on Like Leatherface I think it was I called I was real I think that was a real Campbell's are fucking strange And they exist Which is nuts Hey bro That's how people Survive nowadays Not me Imagine Shit Hey bro We could be eating people In them hot dogs That's that why That's true That's why people <laughs> That's why people Don't eat pork Still eat them though Hey bro As long as I don't know It don't matter to me That's what I'm saying Hey You got anything else You want to talk about my brother Uh Nope You don't got no other so. top- yeah. topics well, thank you again for playing my brother. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? You know it's always a good episode. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you haven't already, people follow all the socials down below. We're going to put all the links down below to all our socials, all that good stuff. Merch coming soon, probably by the end of the month, hopefully. Maybe on No Regulars Day. You know when No Regulars Day is? Mm-mm. June 22nd. What's that? It's because that was the... I wrote it in my book. That was the day I was like, yo, I'm going to make a podcast. That's so tough. Yeah, I wrote it like June 22nd. I was like... All right, I don't know where my book is. It's like only ways up, only way is up from here. That's tough. That was the first thing I wrote. It's very tough. So June twenty second, no regulars day. It's probably not gonna come out there. I might start pre orders then. Mm. Hopefully, I have like the designs out by then. So we'll see. You know, copy out merch. People get the pre orders. Join the Discord. Uh, subscribe down below. I think we're almost, we almost had two seventeen hundred, almost two thousand nice. subscribers. Yeah, we jo- we growing, bro. Every single day we I growing, know. bro. I checked your TikTok today just because um I want to see how far you am. One hundred fifty five k. Yeah, that's, that's bro. Nuts. Almost there, bro. It's nuts. Even though TikTok be trying to help us, but you know we yeah, still yeah. grinding, bro. You want any last words from Big Jr, bro? Um, self love and we different and they're not fucking regular. Wait, no, I said it wrong. Nah, I think that was good. Yeah, that we different. <laughs> <laughs> we different than regular no regular man gangster <laughs> <laughs>